Hey friends, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss two amazing quick tricks of Microsoft Excel. The first trick that we will discuss is how we can expand text vertically or horizontally in Microsoft Excel. To understand this trick, first of all, we need to get answers of two questions. The first question, what is expanded text? And second question, why do we use expanded text in Microsoft Excel? To get answers of these both questions, here we have sample attendance sheet for month of Feb 2020. In this attendance sheet, you can see here on 24th, this employee resigned from company. To record the resignation of this employee in attendance sheet, what I did, I just tried here resign and then I expanded this word from 24th till end of attendance sheet. And this is called expanded text in which all characters of a word are uniformly distributed with same spacing among each other. So this is answer of first question that what is expanded text. Now second question, why do we use expanded text in Microsoft Excel? Answer to this question is quite simple and logical. We use expanded text in Excel just to improve presentation of our data. As you can see here we have word resign in expanded form, but here same word in simple form. You can see or you can compare this word resign in expanded form seems to be more professional than this simple form. So now let's move to word that how we can expand text in Microsoft Excel. To expand text or just to learn this trick, we will use an example just to better understand this. Let's say this employee is going on vacation from 24th till 29th Feb. What we will do, we will just first step, we will merge these cells in which we want to expand text. So we will write here vacation. So we write here vacation. First rule to expand text is that we need to insert one space with each character. So what we will do, we will insert one space after V, then A, C, A, T, I, O. Now we have been inserted one space between each character. Now what we will do to expand this text we will go to home tab in home tab we will go to here orientation in orientation as we want to expand horizontally what we will do we will go to format cell alignment and then in this in this window we will go here you can see here horizontal option in horizontal we will go to last option distributed we will go for ok and you can see here now this word has been expanded same we can do here maybe for this weekend we want to write here weekend in expanded form but this expanded text will be vertically not horizontally so what we will do we will just merge these all cells we will write here weekend with one space after each character so v space e space e space k e and d weekend now what we will do we will just change orientation of this word so we will we will again go to home tab in home tab we will go to orientation and here we can let's say we want to change in this orientation we will click on this and now we have changed orientation just a minute we need to insert here space between each character now again we will go to home tab orientation in orientation we will go to format all cell alignment and as we want to uh, expand text vertically we will go to vertical option and from here we will go to distribute it and then we will go for ok and now you can see this word has been expanded we can also do one thing we can change orientation as you can see again we will go to orientation and let's say we want to change orientation this way and you can see here now w is on top then e e k e and d so friends this is first quick trick that how we can expand text vertically or horizontally to improve our data presentation now let's move toward our second quick trick our second quick trick is how we can do quick analysis of our data to learn or to understand this trick we have here a sample table in which we have performance of different sales persons during different years so let's say we want to do quick analysis of this table or this sales data so what we will do we will simply select all these numerical values or these sales values after we select all these values, we can see here small icon on right bottom side. If we click on this small icon, we can see here different options. All these options are available to do quick analysis of our data. Let's say the first option formatting 
even in this option we have different ways that we can use to do quick analysis let's say the first option data bar if we click on this option you can see data bars of different lengths appear in all cells length of data bar depends on value in that cell let's say you can see here here 38,090 this data bar is smaller than here 89,980 so how we can do quick analysis by using this option let's say for this salesperson we want to know in which year this salesperson did the maximum sale so we will quickly from left to right we will go from quick quickly left to right and we can see here in this cell we have the lengthiest bar for this sale person so we know that in 2017 this sale person did the maximum sale let's say the same way we want to know for 2012 which sale person out of all these which sale person did the maximum sale so we can quickly go from top to bottom and we can quickly locate that this uh, data bar is lengthiest from all data bars in 2000 or uh, in 2012 so we know that in 2012 this sale person did the maximum sale so in this way we can use this option to do quick analysis of our data similarly as our data bars we can use other options for of formatting as color scale icon set and the and other option similarly we have charts totals tables and spark lines so you can check all these options that are very useful to do quick analysis of our data so friends that's all if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and our facebook page excel expert also don't forget to share this video with your friends see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye